Hello everybody, today is Friday, February 5th, 2021, 8.32 a.m. It is 33 degrees Fahrenheit, that is 1 degree Celsius. I'm at the Arlington Trolley Stop on the Green Line in Boston. And today I'm going to do a walk through the Back Bay area. This neighborhood is known to be an affluent neighborhood with many shopping and dining options as well as many row houses along the Commonwealth Avenue area. So let's get this started. this emergency exit. Uh, I need to go to the left. So you see here, this is the Back Bay neighborhood, Newbury Street, and this is Boylston Street. And then the area with all the row houses and mansions are along here, Commonwealth Avenue. So we will check it out. This is the northeast corner of the station. We will check out the Boston Public Garden. as well as Commonwealth Avenue. Looks like I have to wait here to cross. This is the Arlington Street Church that I just showed you. Here's the Boston Public Garden, which I believe is the oldest public garden in the United States. It was created in the 1800s. I'm sure if you were to come here during the warmer months, warmer months, it will look a lot different. Normally gardens like this you'd have to pay for, but this garden's completely free. Even in the winter time it looks nice. It's a nice little pond in the middle here. And I almost slid on some ice. It's slippery and dangerous. You can see it as black ice. Over there is Newbury Street, which is the higher end of the two streets between Boylston and Newbury, higher end meaning that there's more 
luxury retailers there. But before I go on to Newberry Street and walked and walk the entire length of Newberry, I want to show you Commonwealth Avenue where all the uh, row houses are and the mansions. I'll walk one block of Commonwealth Avenue and then walk back and I'll go back to Newberry. Here's a statue of George Washington. These fountains would probably look very nice when it's warmer out. Yep, Public Garden founded in 1837. Here's Commonwealth Avenue with all the row houses. I'm sure the real estate over here is very expensive. There's also a mall here you can walk right in the middle. I'm from New York City, so the closest this would kind of remind me of is Park Avenue in Manhattan. But instead, uh, this Park Avenue is a little bit wider. Some beautiful construction in this area. Also, these lamps, I believe, are gas-powered. This is actually a very long block. I didn't expect it to be so long. These stoops are gorgeous. Very big brownstone buildings. Berkeley Streets. Cross over here. 
By the way, no bicycles are allowed in the Commonwealth Mall. What I don't like about this Commonwealth Mall is there's no crosswalk in the middle. So I'm walking back towards the Boston Public Gardens and then I'll make my way over to Newberry Street and then come back around on Boylston Street. This is probably going to be a long video. But at least I'll show you the good part of the back bay. I also love how neatly kept these front yards are. So I've, I've approached the western end of the public garden again on Arlington Street. Gonna make a right here. Here's Newberry Streets. First stop we see on Newberry Street is Tiffany and Co. Burberry across the streets. Also Chanel, Rolex and Bulgari not too far away. This block right by the public garden seems like it has the most prestigious stores. Brunello Cuccinelli.
It is the Emmanuel Church. Let's see if we can go in and take a look. Oh. Looks like it's not open now, but it looks beautiful inside. Giorgio Armani. American Academy of Arts and Sciences, but the flag on top says Cartier. I think along Newbury Street, we are going to see big homes and mansions as well. Van Cleef and Art Palace. Hey, look at that. They're just opening at Brooks Brothers. The gate rolled up. Here's Church of the Covenant. And then on this corner here, we have a building for Restoration Hardware, RH. Max Mara. Right now it's still early, so I don't expect too many places to be open just yet. Victoria's Secret Nordstrom Rack across the street. Is Georgetown Cupcake Newberry, Ralph Lauren, there's a place here called the New England Historic Genealogical Genealogical. Society. What a tongue twister to say this word. There's a sign for the Franklin Park Zoo, which is four miles down. This entire street is just lined with 
business after business. Cole Hahn, T-Mobile, Palace Gallery, Y2 House. I mean, some of these you can even tell like they're mixed residential and commercial. There's a school of fashion design here. That looks kind of neat. This must be a restaurant here. I don't think they opened yet. Called Bar Salty. Seems like as I walk further down Newbury Street, it gets a little less busy. By the way, there is another area of the Back Bay called Copley Square, which has a lot of activity as well. I don't think I'll be passing by on this walk though. Here's a Capital Burger, the Capital Burger. Hard to read as the text wrapped around like that. All right, blue bottle coffee. Ice cream shop, JP Licks ice cream, yogurt, and coffee. Stephanie's on Newberry. Here's a large restaurant. Hard to see inside because of the glare. Here's Nike. And Ted Baker. And the Kingsley Montessori School.
Timberland, famous for their boots. Anthropology. Zara. I wonder how busy this area was during the pre-pandemic times and during warm weather. I would imagine there would be a lot more people out here shopping around, getting stuff. This is neat. No rest for Bridget. Dirty water dough company. Edge luxury eyewear. Hmm. There's Shake Shack. Also, I have to mention too, these buildings, they all look different. Some of them are shorter than others, different kinds of foundation. Even this side too. Now it seems like we're getting some more mom and pop businesses. Wen's Yunnan Noodle and Ramen, Barber Shop Lounge, Lauren's Nails. Boston Olive Oil Company. It's so charming around here too. You walk down these streets and you just want to go into one of these places because it looks inviting. croissants and pastries, comfort food, soup, really cool. This is the bitter, bittersweet shop on Newberry. All right, so I don't have too much of um, Newberry Street left. I'm about to turn around to go to Boylston, only about two blocks.
that uh, building that I showed you up there too, I think um, Prudential, the insurance company, has most of the space there. That's why that tower is named the way it is, but there used to be an observatory there on the 55th floor, I believe. It closed up because the landlord did not extend the lease. Wow, there's a UPS store down there. Huh, funny. Here's Mother Juice. Like the name of this store. Lipstick. Newberry Spa. Vassal UVS Salon. Says Best of Boston. Woolrich, John Rich and Bros. Let me cross over the street because I'm going to need to do it anyway after this. Boston Architectural College. Really cool. Oh, there's a ramen place too. Hokkaido Ramen Santuka. I'm sure there's many more places on those side streets that I've passed up and I didn't see. <laughs> which which superior sandwiches. Funny. The North Face the Vans. Oh, there's Uniglo. Same Day Health, Patagonia, Newberry Comics, established in 1978. So it took me about half an hour to walk the entirety of Newberry Street from the Boston Public Garden. So by the time I walk back on Boylston, it should be an hour. There's Muji. And TJ Maxx on this corner with Massachusetts Avenue. Massachusetts Avenue, big road that goes very far. It even goes all the way up to Porter Square and goes all the way to the southern part of Boston, I believe. Let's make a left on Massachusetts Avenue. Trolley Station for Massachusetts Avenue. I also did a live stream where I walked through a good portion of Massachusetts Avenue from 
Porter Square all the way across the Charles River into downtown Boston and then I walk over to Boston University. I don't. I'll just go this way because why not? I'd rather avoid crossing if I have to here. I think you could even see the observatory up there. And there's a hotel, Sheraton, as well as the Hilton. There's an area that's right behind the back bay called the Theater District, which has a lot of the hotels in Boston. As a matter of fact, I may not have even been in the back bay for this little stretch of Boylston Street that I've been walking on because there's a sign now that says, welcome to the back bay, right there. You know, this is really interesting to see because I was curious what this structure was over here and I thought it was part of a old rail line and now I'm looking over and there's an abandoned building here. It looks like it could have been a metro station with a staircase leading to it. So that just confirms my suspicions that it was a former rail line that came by here. Yeah, really strange. All right, now we're in the back bay. Well, we were never too far away from it to begin with. There's the Capitol Grill on the corner. the back base firehouse. By the way, I was just looking at the sign up there. This is the Heinz Convention Center. Really large convention center in Boston. Takes up an entire city block. Also, here's a tennis and racket club. McGreevy's America's first sport, sports bar. Well, it looks like it's for lease, unfortunately. The Poor House Bar and Grill. Wow, this is a Trader Joe's? Seriously? 
It looks deceivingly small. There must be a big basement inside there. Has to be the smallest Trader Joe's entrance I've ever seen. Whiskies. Unfortunately, this place is for lease as well. Oh wow, there's an eatery over here, which is a Italian supermarket. Under Armour's here, as well as Tesla. Inside this fancy building, Back Bay Social. Adidas, or the correct way to say it is Adidas. Named after the founder, Adi Dossler. Oh really, this is the Prudential Center? I didn't think this was the Prudential Center, but Prudential Center is a big shopping mall here. Gotta watch the sidewalk, it's uneven. And this is the Apple Store on Boylston Street. iPhone 12. Looks very big. They're getting ready to open, I think. Fidelity Investments. Capital One Cafe, what? Why would a bank have their own cafe? Banking, coffee, and cafe, well that's a strange concept. This is the Mandarin Oriental Hotel. Very luxury hotel. Yeah, weird. Weird as heck. The bank and have coffee and food at the same time. Seems like Boylston Street has more banks for sure than Newbury. There's Creighton Barrel. Atlantic Fish Company. Starbucks coffee, of course. Also the famous Max Brenner chocolates. Although it looks like it's under renovations. It says on the sign there, they're temporarily closed until further notice. It's a Verizon store. Seven Eleven and Dunkin' Donuts, and another hotel, the Lennox Original Boutique Hotel.
Now I also know that there was some kind of plaque or dedication to the Boston Marathon bombing. I'm not sure if I passed it, but I remember doing a live stream here. Someone said it's around here. I've been looking around. I couldn't find it. Here's the Boston Public Library building. TNT. Yeah, this library building is huge, absolutely ginormous. As a matter of fact, there's a Boston Marathon marking over here. Hashtag finish strong 2020, 121st, fourth marathon. Wow, I'm glad I crossed the street because I've never would have seen this from the other side of the street. Beautiful church. This is the Copley Street uh, Station on the Boston Trolley Line, Green Line. Take a look at this ironwork on this entrance is beautiful right under the uh, the library here I also read that the Boston subway station was the first of its kind in the United States and that the green line trolleys are the oldest tracks in the system Yeah, this is the Old South Church I'm looking at. I just saw the name. And the front of the Boston Public Library. Here's another cool looking building over here. Also plenty of sand to go around on this sidewalk. Is this the Boston Marathon? Memorial? No, it can't be. This just uh, shows like the origins of it, but a lot of this is badly weathered and hard to read now. John Singleton Copley.
a lot of pigeons. We're not too far away from the Boston Public Garden now. Only two blocks, but two long blocks. All pits. And there's H&M Man across the street. This is the 501 Boylston building. Five hundred Boylston building. Stunning architecture on this building. Seems like this area is not rented out yet. That's the same building I saw from Newberry. Oh, here's the Arlington Station, which I exited at, but it was on the other side of the block. Life Alive Organic Cafe, Century Bank. The Berkeley Building, distinctive example of the Beaux Art style, was designed in 1905 by the firm of Codman and Despradel. Berkeley Building, Beaux Art style, beautiful.
Oh, there's the <clears throat> Tati Bakery and Cafe. Tati was a cafe I went to just yesterday. I had the apple croissant there and it was delicious. I wanted to get the pistachio croissant, but they didn't have any more. They ran out. Really unique pastry. All right, so I am back here at Arlington and Boylston Streets. And this concludes my video of the Back Bay of Boston. If you enjoyed it, be sure to smash the like button for me. Subscribe for some more videos like these. And I will see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.